gonna be in my video. Ooh. So we got here yesterday, Wednesday. I'm not really sure why we got here Wednesday, but since we're here Thursday morning, it's empty. So that's something. Don is shooting. What did we do yesterday? Oh, yesterday me and Micah went on our Valentine's date a day late because we didn't do it at home because I was busy working on costumes. I might go take a nap after this. We just got done with our first shoot. My feet hurt a lot. Don's resting. I'm gonna take all this stuff off and keep working on Raven, I think. Go find something to eat, probably. They renovated the room, so they look pretty nice. This is the view from our room. A good view of the convention center. I just got done with my shoot with Don. I wore my Alice costume. If you wanna see how I made that costume, I have a whole series on it. You can check that out. Right now, I am working on finishing some hand sewing for Raven. Raven doesn't have that much still left to do. Draculaura though, I am concerned about. Those videos will be coming soon, but I think Katsukan's vlog will go up first. Yesterday, I like, I don't know. I just didn't want to come to Katsukan for some reason. I was really stressed out from all the costume stuff. Feeling burnt out generally. I'm taking entirely off next week, except to like edit a video for the weekend. Now that I've had an okay night's sleep, I am feeling a lot more excited and I've gotten like one shoot out of the way. So I am just like feeling a lot better about it. So you sequin laced for Raven's thigh high for the bodysuit because it's kind of a more abstract pattern. I am just cutting apart the rest of the lace that I've got and sewing it to the bodysuit. And a little tedious. I just got back from food. Not from food. From food. food. <laughs> Unboxing for pizza. That looks Ooh. pretty good. Mm. That's good though.
we just got back from Artist Alley. We did not purchase anything. Sarah got something. Do Artist Alley haul first? I do! Okay. okay, I got a set of six Bloodborne prints for my fiance for his birthday because he loves Bloodborne. There we go. Yay! Did I go through all Amazing. of them yet? Here we go. That's the last one. Going around again. There we go. And then right, I got this got. cat. Very cute. Okay, let's let's do the haul. Okay, who wants to go first? Do we want to go in order? Let's start okay, with these let's start things. With these. I can't even remember who this artist, like what their name is. The first thing that I got, I really like these Oni horns from Storyteller Cause. So when I found out that she was going to be at Casa Con, I was like, I need to get in the dealer's room immediately and buy her horns before they sell out. I was not able to do that. The line was very long. She did not sell out, so that's good. But this is the forest face. This is the one I voted for. Yeah, this is... This she is... couldn't decide between two, so... So we got both! <laughs> Micah is an enabler. So they're really cool when they have light on them. So they're like greenish on top and reddish on the bottom, and then they've got little flecks of gold in them. The Inferno Oni <laughs> are more red, and I thought that these went a little bit more with clothing that I already have. Look at that. They're so beautiful. These ones are mostly red and they've got some black swirling, like smoky things in them. And they've got cellophane paper in them. That's what makes it look all like shiny. So cool, I yeah. love them. Somebody else want to go next? It'll be like Christmas when we Ooh, all I'll go, go. look. Go. I got, this is another birthday present for Jag, but I know I'm gonna end up using it. It's a blue ocarina. Look at this! Oh, you did? Songs from Lord of the Rings! Ah. Yeah. For C major 12 hole ocarina. <laughs> yes, it is! Cool. I'm excited. This is from the brand Dreamily. I have a couple of their other clothing pieces. They're really cute. I think they're based in LA. This is the bag that we got as the consolation prize for you spent a bunch of money. It's a zipper sweatshirt, but it's an asymmetrical zip, so it goes across and then this is the design. So that's from Dreamily. I'll link all of these shops in the description. Pristine one. This is the last item, I think. For today. This was, <laughs> this was an impulse purchase. Warui Karma. Waru, Warui Karma, which just means bad karma. Ah, look at it. It's so cool. I'm getting really into techwear lately. I don't know if I'll end up making any techwear. I don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing techwear, then let me know. But I figured that's not really the vibe of this channel. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. The guy who was selling it said that all of it is 3M reflective material. So it's all safety material. So I can wear it Which in the means... dark and not die. Ooh, shiny. Uh, it's just so cool. Yeah, it's straps. Cool. Man, live in the teenage hot topic trip life. But that's it. Yay! That's our haul. We might purchase more later, but we wanted to do the haul while Sarah was here because if we go tomorrow, then she won't be here. Oh, I gotta show my contacts. Ah, beautiful view of the towel back there. You can see the shadow of my microphone. But it's like pretty dark right now. You'll see that it's purple, so I think that's pretty cool. These are the macaron purple from TTDI. I have a discount code and a link that you can check out in the description. These are pretty comfortable. I've been wearing them literally all day. My eyes are a little bit dry, but like no more than wearing normal. Actually, I think less than I felt bad wearing normal contacts yesterday. So these are just as comfortable as normal contacts. Okay, we're gonna go eat now. I will see you. Bye. We're judging for the math grade. Annie's here. Hi. Wow, <laughs> I hope that we're in frame. It's a GoPro, so we should be good. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit here and judge people and judge their sewing. We're waiting for people to show up, so. Start from the top and work your way down. Just talk about what you have made. The full turn. Go ahead. I did all of these. This is all suiting fabric, HTV vinyl. The sleeves are separated into three pieces. It's made of craft foam, little jewels glued onto it too. It's a shower curtain rod. PVC pipe. So cute. <laughs> the design is really inconsistent, but I liked the variation of the tiny scallop, so I wanted to go for the smaller scallop to look. I hand stitched on all of the fur. I really like the challenge. It's the first time I've I've ever attempted something like this. Shorter ones are fully jointed. So just do something opposed thin. Most of the flowers were purple. Okay. I used some synthetic dye to them a little bit more reddish. As you see, there's 300 oh, of these wow. little white resin pieces. I used a two part to create multiple so I could make like eight at a time. Awesome. I'm done with judging. I'm gonna be in this costume for all of an hour and then I have to go back to judging. Well, we have Monster High. And Monster, friends. Monster wow, look, we have friends. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's shoot photos.
unanimous decision. It was hard for us all to not tear up. The best in show goes to last minute cosplay. His name is Big Danny T. We just got done shooting. This is my last shoot of the weekend, unless I decide to dress up tomorrow, which I probably won't. I'm very tired. Judging went really well. Lots of cute skits, lots of cute costumes. Someone almost got hit in the face with a shoe, so that was a little bit alarming, but other than that, it went really well. This costume definitely still needs some work on it. This lace piece is the only safety pin on, and I want to definitely, like, actually attach it. And then I need to figure something out to do. With this, my wig keeps getting stuck to these little beaded chains. I think maybe if I make a little tool sleeve for these beads to go into, then it won't catch on my wig so much and it won't be super visible. I don't know, either that or I need to figure something else out. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. This also needs a skull because the skull that I made was ugly. Still got some things that I need to finish up and change for this costume, but I think it turned out pretty well. So I'm happy with it so far. <laughs> Okay, now that, that switch up, switch up your head pose, switch up your pose, bro. Turn your body together. Yeah, 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 Is this your last one this weekend? No, I got three more. Three more? Three more? It's Sunday and you you've got three more. The if you want to be bro. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna go shopping now. Bye. We're doing our last dealer's room run. These contacts are from TTDI. They're pearl gray. My horns are from Storyteller Cosplay. I got them in the dealer's room the other day. My jacket is from. Waterly Karma, but you can't see it right now. Micah's birthday was yesterday, so I'm gonna go buy him a birthday present. So Yay. we'll have a second haul. It's now Wednesday after Katsukan because I just kind of got home and uh, hibernated. I never did my final haul. Micah's birthday was also on Saturday, so I had wanted to get him a birthday present, but we couldn't find anything that he was like really, really into. So I decided the next Red Fair season, I'm just gonna get him one of the leather jackets that he really liked. So didn't end up finding him anything there, but we found me a lot of things. <laughs> the first thing that we got was actually for both of us and it is tea. This is from Chibi Tea and it's the tea that I'm currently drinking right now. This is marzipan rose tea so it's kind of like an almondy rose flavor and it's really good. ChibiTea.com. Before we keep going, the lenses that I'm wearing right now are TTDI. These are the ones that I wore for Draculaura and they are pink. They're the ice pink from TTDI. They're very subtle. They just make my brown eyes a little bit more of a warm brown and I think it's really cute. Let's keep going. I passed this booth multiple times. It's beautiful decoden jewelry. I was not planning on buying anything from them because as cute as it was, it's not really my style of stuff that I normally wear. On Sunday, we went shopping with some friends and my friend Kit saw a stack of pancakes as a necklace and she was like, I have to get that. So she went and got it. Came out with a bag like this inside of her bag. It's all packaged like little pastries. So I was suckered in by the packaging. Inside the pastry box is a little bag. Cute little foil bunny. I'm so excited. I, I actually really, really love these earrings. I was kind of staring at them all weekend like, oh, should I get them? Should I not get them? And the packaging is kind of what tipped me over but I did really want them and I'm excited to figure out how to incorporate these into an outfit. So if you have any ideas, let me know. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Okay, okay. Eee! Wait, hold on. Eee! They're so cute. It's a little macaron with a strawberry on top. It's got bat wings. I don't know how bats like kind of became my motif of choice. I guess it's because of baby bat. I love baby bat so much. I just want bat themed things now. But like, oh my god, it's so cute. All right, baby bat is really mad that I took her from her little perch. But like, I was like, ah! <laughs> no. Look, look. Ah! 
mother-daughter matching. Okay, I'll let you go, I'll let you go. So I was looking for a beanie on Friday and on Sunday and I found this one and it's kind of a silly one. Uh, it, high School Minji would have approved a lot, so. This is it. The brand is called Sorbet Jungle. Let me get the card out. Logo. I saw this and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if that's like too cutesy, like emo high schooler for me. But Micah was like, it's a black cat and it's angry and it's basically baby bat. So it's everything you like in an item. So why not? So I got it. So this was my last purchase. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I go between cutesy or edgy constantly and I'm not good at deciding and like fantasy I have way too many aesthetics I just like cannot decide so many different directions that you could go with fashion why limit yourself to one I guess <laughs> this is gonna be my new beanie probably for the next five years or at least until next Katsukon when I get another one so that's it that's my haul from Katsukon I hope you enjoyed this video but it's it's really been a while since I've been in this environment it was really uh, kind of overwhelming there were so many people there I felt a little overstimulated all the the time and it felt like it was more crowded than normal that just like the sheer volume of people being in costume like in pretty elaborate costume for the entirety of the time while also trying to vlog when I'm in these costumes I'm focused on meeting up with my friends being in photos trying not to run into anybody the costume is kind of delicate and they're just kind of big costumes so all of those things meant that vlogging was not at the forefront of my mind and so uh, we'll see how this video turns out yeah i don't know have you guys been to a convention since 2020 literally my last katsa was 2020 it's been a uh, time trying to get back into the swing of conventions i only did two costumes per day and two of them were just really casual costumes i used to be able to do like three to five costumes in a day and i don't know how i had the energy to do that i don't know how i had the space to do that it's just been kind of a weird surreal experience getting back to conventions after the like height of the pandemic wore my mask the whole time that I was inside unless I was actively having my picture taken so I did take precautions and tried to be really careful about it it just feels like the general convention going atmosphere is a little bit different than it used to be a few years ago uh, before 2020. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you go to conventions? Do you like conventions? Do you think they've changed? If you want to see any other kinds of videos on like cons and uh, convention life, I've gotten a request for how to pack for a convention, like what I pack and how I fit everything kind of stuff. The secret is that I drive to all my conventions so I don't have to pack very efficiently. Convention survival guide kind of thing, how to not be miserable in your costume. Oh, I also wanted to reiterate that like being in those body suits and not being able to use the bathroom for a few hours it's probably not healthy that I'm not able to use the bathroom for a few hours but it's not uncomfortable because I'm just doing so many things and I'm so busy and my attention is in so many places that I'm not really thinking about drinking water which is again not great but it means that I'm not thinking about peeing either. So that's kind of how I deal with being in those body suits and not being able to use the bathroom. I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse, but that's just how it goes. Are you okay, baby bat? Bless you, bless you.